Did they add the rest of them on? Because a few weeks ago when I checked, most of these were not on here yet. But it's great. Now I can not worry about <laughs> looking somewhere else. Like legit, like when I was when I started this whole marathon, I'm pretty sure Aliens was the only one that was on Disney Plus. But now they're all on there. So that's great. Maybe I just didn't look hard enough. But I typed an alien like last time. Anyway, uh, welcome back. Uh, we've been watching through these movies, um, Alien and Predator. I've been going in, in release date order. So Alien, Predator, it was Alien, then Predator, then Aliens, then Predator 2, etc. We are now up to Aliens, Alien, no, sorry, not Aliens, Alien 3. And then next week will be Resurrections because we did two Ultraman episodes in a row, so we'll do two Alien episodes and it kind of lines up quite well because I'm pretty sure Resurrections comes straight after Alien 3 so that's good but I'm excited for this um, really enjoyed Aliens for me that was the best one of the franchise so far um, first one Alien was very good as well so uh, I look forward to oh Charles Dance is in this one there's so many big big name cast members in both franchises I cannot wait to see how they cross over but apparently the crossovers are not that good <laughs> based on ratings amongst other things but we'll see but um yeah so far i've enjoyed i've enjoyed everything um so hopefully alien 3 is great it's still running for the opening credits right now so uh let's see how this is charles dance looks a lot younger in this i know it came out in 1992 but still it looks a lot younger actually 1992 is 30 years ago 1992 is 30 years ago that's crazy. I was born in 95. Okay, yeah. Of course he's a lot younger. It's 30 years ago. Of course he looks younger. 992 always seems more recent to me because I'm a 90s kid. It doesn't it feel like it's that long ago, but it is. It, when, when you hear it, it just sinks in and you just don't like it. Wait, wait. A xenomorph just... It just came out of a body, but this time it was a dog. Came out of a dog this time. I really hope the Predators win when uh, they face each other. I'm curious to why the alien let Ripley go. Also, the CGI seemed weaker compared to previous movies. I don't know if it's just me, just the effects looked a bit weird. But this alien, it, it had Ripley and it let her go. And I'm wondering why. They did say that it's different to the, to the previous ones and it moves differently, for example, but maybe things differently too, but... Did, did it show, did it show mercy or was it just not hungry enough? I'm I'm very confused. It it it, it felt a bit more like a predator than an alien at that point because aliens are usually like ruthless killers, and predators are more like not hesitant, but they don't kill you if you're not a threat. So I don't know. There's, there's, there's something about it. Ah, it all gets explained. There's an alien inside Ripley. That's why it didn't kill her. There's one inside her, and to make matters worse, it's a queen. Now it makes more sense why it let her go. Because, like, usually they don't hesitate to kill those aliens. I'm just like, something's wrong here. Ah, there's another one inside her, right, okay. Does that mean Ripley's gonna die? That means Ripley's gonna die. She's such a good character. So I finished the movie now, and, well, that is one way to, uh... <laughs> kill off a major character the way they did it but um yeah that was uh it was interesting it was it was pretty good it was definitely the weakest of the first three alien movies for sure um alien and aliens were far better movies like i don't think it's even close but alien 3 wasn't too bad i didn't hate it i didn't think it was bad um but it was okay i, I did like what i saw and um yeah it kind of spoiled something for me well it didn't spoil something for me i mean it did but um, because the credits started rolling, about 30 seconds later, it showed Resurrections recommended, and it said it takes place 200 years after her death, and they cloned her. <laughs> right, okay, cheers for that. I would prefer to have not known that. <laughs> but when I watch that next week, I'll, uh, that'll be interesting to see. So, Sigourney Weaver's still coming back. She's just playing a clone of her character. Right. Okay. Anyway, yeah, it compared to the first two, a lot weaker, but I still liked what they did. 
Um, the effects definitely were, at, at times, just looked horrible, to be honest. Uh, I'm not even going to lie about that. Aliens and Alien, they came out a while ago, but the effects still look incredible. You know? But this one came out after those, and the effects don't look great. I get that technology wasn't the same back then, but it looked great in Alien and Aliens. Anyway, <laughs> apart from that, like... Uh, it, especially when, um, actually, um, w when she died, when she fell in the fire, that looked so bad. It took me out of it a little bit, actually. But, um, yeah, there's not much to say about this movie, really, apart from what I said while watching it. Um, it's just okay. Um, if I was to rate it a 6.5 out of 10, I think, um, I kind of... I kind of see what people say when it, it, it kind of falls off after the first few movies, but... You know, there's still plenty to go, um, but apparently it just gets worse. I, I don't know, I haven't seen them yet, but apparently there's Alien, Aliens, and Predator. Apparently it just goes down who after that. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be my own judge. This one wasn't bad, but it definitely was a downgrade compared to the first two Alien movies. So, uh, yeah, but we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how the rest of the uh, series goes. Next week I'll be watching Resurrections. Um, hopefully that one is good. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see you.